Well, that was a hard story to follow, but we will do our best. And uh, tonight we are really getting excited about the Infant Mystics. It will be chilly tonight, so if you're coming downtown, remember the parade, uh, at least where we stand here, will be getting here a little bit later because of a different route. Our broadcast time on UTV 44 starts at 7.30 tonight instead of 6.30, so please make note of that. We're going to talk about what we'll see tonight, but first we want to talk about the float builder for the Infant Mystics as well as several other groups groups in Mobile. It's a man who's been doing this with his company and about 10 employees for, well, decades. His name is Steve Mussel, and I had a chance to talk with him recently. Take a look. There was once a little boy in Mobile who loved Mardi Gras so much, he would pull the wheels off his toy Jeep to make a little Mardi Gras float. This is that boy. I don't know if it was float building, but I would take <laughs> The wheels off of, I had some army men with a Jeep. I'd take uh -huh. the wheels off the Jeep and then I took some toilet paper tubes uh -huh. and put them on the wheels of the Jeep and then I would make a, a dragon out of the toilet paper tubes. You remember doing that? Oh, yeah. Steve Mussel, owner of Mirth Company, has been a premier float builder in Mobile for more than four decades. But it almost didn't happen when his family moved to Atlanta when he was a teenager. Finally, in 75, I, I just had to come back. It would call to you. Yes. Mardi Gras does call to people, doesn't it? Uh, it gets in your blood. There's, uh, there's no way to escape it. Especially now, Steve has enough work to keep him and his 10 full-time employees busy year-round. I do five parades. That's a lot of parades. Yeah, it's about 60 theme floats and probably another 15 permanent units that we maintain. These floats belong to Mobile's Mystic Stripers, whose president came up with the ideas that were composed into designs by Brent Amaker, who took those designs to Steve and staff to make the fantasy a rolling reality. And they still create these masterpieces the old-fashioned way. The paper mache, it's paper that's been dipped in wallpaper paste and then apply it. If you think all of this art gets trashed after Fat Tuesday, well, you'd be wrong. For instance, this is one of the King's men from the Humpty Dumpty float. And uh, he could be put back together again, but in a completely different shape. Steve Mussel, another reason Mobile is proud to call itself the birthplace of Mardi Gras, even though some visitors to Mobile still have a hard time dealing with that. If we have the doors open and someone drives by, I've had people ask me how we get them to New Orleans. Making Mardi Gras in Mobile, Darwin Singleton, NBC 